States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here come bad news, talking this and that. Academy of Arts, Mrs. V. King here reporting to you from home. Good morning and welcome to edition five of Ranger TV. I am first welcoming on our amazing principal, Mrs. Beckler. She'll be having, she'll be giving you some important announcements. Right after that, we're going to be going right into our video submissions for this week, which this week it was things you're doing at home. And we have an awesome submission from one of our young artists this week. And then I would like you to continue submitting uh, things you are doing in the arts at home. We are getting back to playing musical instruments, drawing, singing, acting skits, anything you would like to show, showing us how you are continuing on with the arts at home. We will continue with that after next week. So keep those videos coming to HMSRangerTV at gmail.com and we will get those videos up. But next week, I am going to have another special announcement from me, which is going to discuss the yearbooks. They're gonna be here soon. So I'm gonna be talking about how those will get distributed, how you will be able to get your yearbook. So here's Ms. Beckler, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a great week next week. Hello, Howard, Ms. Beckler coming to you from my kitchen. Just a couple of quick updates. First of all, make sure you are checking your Ranger resources and the Howard B for all of our exciting activities that we have going on during distance learning. This week we started our virtual guest artist series. I saw some of you today virtually on the um, session with the Orlando Museum of Art. That was really fun. It was great to see you guys there. And we've also got our collaborative mural project going on. So I did that this week with my two kids, they're nine and seven, and we all painted little squares uh, and contributed to the virtual mural. So you don't have to have any experience or skill level necessary. Anybody can participate, so sign up if you can. Um, it's really, really fun. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that progress reports are coming out next week. And I did have a chance to go through all of your grades today, and we've started making phone calls home for a lot of you um, just to see what kind of extra support you may need. We really want you all to be successful during this last quarter, uh, and I know it's been a struggle for some of you staying motivated with the distance learning. So you've only got a few weeks left to go for the quarter. It's not too late to get your grade brought up. We know you can be successful. So log in, check your Canvas, get that work turned in. It is Teacher Appreciation Week next week, and I can't think of anything that would be better to show your appreciation than to log into Canvas and get your work done. Your teachers would love it because they really want to see you succeed. Okay, if there's anything we can do to help you, again, reach out, we're here for you, and I hope you all have a fantastic week. As you may know, connecting with others during this time of quarantine can be challenging. So the Ranger TV cast and crew created hashtag Howard Rangers Connect to have Howard students, teachers, and families stay in touch with each other. If you want your social media posts to be featured here, use the hashtag. Please only post appropriate content if you're using the hashtag. Thank you. Rangers, it's Janae talking. Did you know that on this day in history, the Empire State Building in New York officially opened? It was built in a record time of 13 months, beginning on March 17, 1930 and ending on May 1, 1931. 
The construction of the Empire State Building was part of a race to create the world's largest building. Its top competitors were the Chrysler Building and the Bank of Manhattan Building. In the end, though, the Empire State Building won the race and earned the title of tallest building in the world. The structure, standing at 1,250 feet tall, or 1,454 feet tall if you count the antenna that's on top. However, the Empire State Building is now the fifth tallest building in the United States and 28th tallest building in the world. First, it's time to wake up. Then breakfast. Time to get dressed. Next up is getting school done. Time for lunch and to hang with the puppy. Then I go ahead and clean up again. And finally, after all that, it's me time. I just go ahead and chill. Gotta stay healthy. That is it for this week, Rangers. Stay home and stay safe. Bye, guys.